Let's talk about Adam Gaudet. Right now he's playing for the Northeastern Huskies, still with the same team that he was on when he was drafted. He was drafted uh, two years ago, 2015, so that was the Besser draft in the fifth round. And in his draft year, he was playing in the USHL. He got 30 points, 50 games. People thought he was okay, he's going to be a, an okay player. You're like, let's see how he progresses. He was taken in the fifth round, that's not a surprise. But... His draft plus one year, his draft plus two year, and his draft plus three year, which is this year, is doing pretty well with the Northeastern Huskies. Right now, he's got 13 points in seven games, um, and he's wearing the A on his jersey. He's got four goals in his past two games, I believe. Last game, he scored shorthanded. Two games ago, he got a hat trick. He's doing pretty darn well for the Huskies. And there's a big consensus surrounding Adam Gaudet asking the question of, is he going to sign with the Canucks? And if he didn't, first of all, let's establish that if he didn't, that would be a shame. Because in his draft plus one year, he had 30 points in 41 games playing in the NCAA. So that's not necessarily bad considering he was 18 years old playing his first year in the NCAA by the way that year of players the top three scorers were Kyle Connor uh, JT Comfer and Brock Besser so he's got some pretty good company of course uh, Adam Gaudet was all the way down there but in his draft plus two year which was last season he got 52 points in 37 games so that was pretty good he was uh, up there ninth in points and his teammate, who was first in that category, was Zach Aston Reese, who's playing with uh, the Penguins AHL team right now. So, you know, he's got some successful players that were surrounding him recently. But now, in this season, he's got 13 points in seven games. He's getting quite a bit of goals. And he's not first on his team. First on his team in points is Dylan Secura, who is at 14 points in seven games. Adam Gaudet, if you're wondering, he's actually, what, third or something in points in total in the NCAA, so that's pretty good, but overall, I want to talk about Gaudet and his game and what he means to the Canucks organization at this moment, because we don't know if he's going to sign, he hasn't signed yet. If he doesn't sign, then what we're losing out on is a guy who has the potential to be a good third-line center. He's a two-way player at best. He's able to do a lot of the good things that a two-way player does. His most recent goal was a shorthanded goal, and that means that, oh, he's playing out there in the penalty kill. They trust him enough to put him in this position. He's got the A on his jersey. He's reliable for the Northeastern Huskies, and he's got a good shot. Noticing that from all the goals that he's scored recently, that hat trick he got a few days ago, he's got a good shot for a two-way guy. He's got a good back check, a good forecheck, he's a complete player, and he's got a really good sense for that 200-foot game. 6 foot 1, 170 pounds, he's not super big, but he's definitely sizable for the NHL. Could use a little bit more pounds, but overall, he's a good player, and if he's able to progress at the rate that he has been in his college days, then he will be a good NHLer. From 30 points in 41 games in his draft plus one year, to 52 points in 37 games in his draft plus two year, now we're in his draft plus three year and he has 13 points in seven games. He's a good player, everybody, and that's why we want to sign him, because we don't know if he's going to sign. I believe, personally, that he is going to sign because, well, the Vancouver Canucks do look like they're going to go places in the next few years, but... If Adam Gaudet decides not to sign, then I'm sure that he will be one of the big free agent college guys who's defecting from their drafted team to go to another team that they want to play for. I just hope he doesn't go to Boston. He's from Massachusetts, so he might have that hometown advantage with the Bruins, but if he signs anywhere, I truly hope it's with the Canucks because we could use a guy like Gaudet going forward. We could use a good penalty killer um, center behind Bo Horvat because Bo Horvat is going to be the two-way penalty killing face-off taking center for the next few years. Gaudet, if he remains with our organization, has a strong, strong case for being the number two center on the penalty kill. Maybe even 
switch him over to the right wing or something, play alongside Bo Horvat, have that two-way, two-headed monster on the PK. Point being said, Adam Gaudet is a progressing player. He's coming up and up and up. He's 21 years of age right now. Um, his way to the NHL lies with this season, which he's going to play in the NCAA. Next season, it's either going to be an NCAA season or an AHL season. I believe it's going to be an AHL season because he's at that point in his career where I believe it's a very high likelihood that he is going to sign a contract at the end of this season, and that contract hopefully hits with the Vancouver Canucks. If he plays with the Comets next season, then I believe in two seasons he's going to be with the Vancouver Canucks, but we don't know where he's going to sign. We don't know if he's going to sign. If he does sign, however, the Canucks got a good player in their hands, because right now, all he is is a good player in their system. He's a good player in their system, and he's a good player that we want to get locked in. Because Adam Gaudet, he's going to help the team out if he plays. If he's on our team, we've got another good back checker on our team. Another good penalty killer. Adam Gaudet, please, sign with the Canucks because this is a prospect that we have all been looking forward to ever since he started doing well in the NCAA a few years ago. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is for Pussing, Gaming, and bye. <laughs>